All right, so what is good, everybody? Oh man, hold up, hold up. We change the channel here. We change the the city here. You know what I mean? No man, man, we do lost Paris, man. Come on, bro. Anyways, y'all. So what's good, everybody on YouTube? It is your boy Jay. Three times up. We are back at it with another video. And today, y'all, we're gonna talk about. Grass Week and Marine Boot Camp. Now, of course, this is going to be based off of my experiences as to, of course, my entire channel based off of my experiences. <clears throat> now, um, I'm not going to lie to y'all, I'm pretty sure I definitely said I was going to do a video about Grass Week and Boot Camp like two years ago. <laughs> and I never got down to it, you know, so here it is. Here it is. This is Grass Week and Marine Boot Camp, y'all. So, um, now, Grass Week, now, I think for different companies, it was like the way you travel to, um, now, Grass Week, really what Grass Week is, y'all, is, is an entire week of you, you learning the fundamentals of the rifle and learning the fundamentals of shooting the rifle, you know what I mean? So, I mean, like the whole entire week, you're, you're literally just laying in grass, sighting in, in, in the sighting in, in the sight into a like um, a target point, and you're learning the target points, and you just you're practicing, you literally practice it, you know, you you, you get your, because it's of course it's a whole bunch of different things you gotta know about shooting, you gotta know how to hold it, how how to do things, and you just, so you just, you just literally just sitting there for hours in the grass, sighting in, click 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 click, and. <clears throat> Now, whether it be hot, whether it be cold, it don't matter. Hey, you're going to sit in that grass. You're going to sight in. You know what I mean? So, I went during the summer. It was hot as a motherfucker. But, like I said, um, I believe for different companies, it definitely was different the way you traveled to the, the range to um, sight in for grass week. Uh, I, I heard one company, they hiked in the range every day, you know. So, But my company, when I, when I was doing grass week, I, I I took the I took the bus there, you know. We took the bus to the uh, range every day. Now I believe I I believe the reason being is probably because you know the distance and the, the timing is I believe the reason why we bus there. Because of course you know not you know you got the range here. You probably got one company right near you know, not 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 too far from the range. We might have another company way back here. So, I mean, I feel like that was probably the reason why we bust there because of timing and, you know, just timing and, yeah, trying to get things done quick as possible and things like that. But, I mean, people might feel like, oh, yeah, well, because y'all a bunch of P-U-S-S-Y, y'all, 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 y'all soft, you know what I mean? I don't know, whatever the case may be, but some, some companies heights in the range. Some of us took the bus there. I, mean, I took the bus there. I mean, my, my, I don't know. I, 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 that's what I think it was, because it's topping. But, um, so travel there, um, based off my experiences. I don't even think we even got, yeah, we didn't even go to the Shaw Hall, you guys. I don't think we even, uh, nah, we did go to the Shaw Hall, actually, I think. I think. I'm trying to thank you guys. No, we definitely did not. No, we definitely did not. We did not go to the Shaw Hall. We actually got box chow for breakfast the entire week. We didn't go to the Shaw Hall. So we had to eat that nasty box cold chow. But it's like, it don't even matter. It's, it don't even matter if it's nasty or not. Because, you know, like, you're a recruit there. You're uncomfortable. You're dirty. You're sweaty. You're hungry. You know, you just want food. You know, so it's like, you know, um, any food's good food when you're, when you're a recruit. But... You know, we got box shell for breakfast the entire week. We bust there. As soon as we get there, um, I mean, we 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 leaving out. It's, the sun's not out. You know, it's it's literally like the sun is not out. You know what I mean? And it's like it's pitch black out there. And um, you get on the bus, of course, nobody can talk. Nobody's talking. Everybody's silent. You know what I mean? Um, I'm pretty sure the drone shot is great knowledge. Nah, they didn't even scream knowledge because they, they we was just trying to get there. So the bus was dead silent, you know. All you heard was the engine. You get to the range, of course, still pitch black outside. Everybody's walking on the bus. George started commanding the recruits, 
you know, get forming up and, you know, um, get, in, get in formation, whatever. And, um, <clears throat> Of course, when you get there, the general start this course, start playing games because recruits are not screaming, and that's the whole thing. Playing games, running up down, running down, running this, running that, running this way, run that way. <laughs> and it's like, dang, bro, we just getting here. It's not even, the sun is nowhere near, it's pitch black outside, bro. We're over here playing games, the sun's not even up, bro. The sun ain't even up. We over here just running around. Oh, you want to scream? Run that way. You don't want to scream? Run that way. You don't want to scream? Put your pack down. You want to scream? Put your pack back up. I'm like, ah, good lord, bro. Come on now. You know what I mean? So, and then of course the squad leaders and the guy, they always, they always, they get it, man. They get messed with more than any recruit in the platoon. You look at the recruit god, recruit squad leader. They, they get messed with more than anybody because they got direct accountability of everybody in the platoon. So it's like, the drone shooters go straight to the squad leaders and the guy. And they're like, hey, do your job. You know, it's like, so of course, you know, every single morning, man, the guy and the squad leaders were in the sailing pit because of some dumb reason. <laughs> for some dumb reason, uh, you know, for some, some a recruit did. Something stupid that a recruit did the guy and the squad leaders went to sand pit, paying for it, bro. And they was mad at us, bro. They was like, Yo, I'm tired of going to sand pit, man. Y'all, 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 y'all is doing something, making us pay for it. We in the sand pit every morning. Y'all over here, y'all lollygagging, y'all. We in the sand pit. We, yeah. You know, they was, they be mad, bro. You know. And of course, that's when you meet your PMI or your primary marksmanship instructor. Now, your PMI is, of course, he's a cool dude. He should be a cool dude because he's not a drone instructor. And that is the one point, one period of time in boot camp. You get to actually take the pressure off and like relax a little bit, ease up. And you got to because you got to learn the fundamentals of shooting. And you can't really learn to shoot if you're all tensed up and you just, you got to be calm, dog. You got to be calm as, calm as, I don't know what. You got to be calm. So, of course, the PMIs are gonna ease you in. They're gonna be chill. They they got they're gonna be chill. They're gonna talk to you like you know. They're not gonna yell at you, you know. So it's not it's not really as much pressure. And your draw instructors may or may not be there. Um, I'm pretty sure they will be there, but there will be times. Nope, the draw instructors will 100% be there. And um, <clears throat> um, so basically, like, yeah, grass week, y'all is just. You, I'm pretty sure you guys have class. You definitely will have uh, a whole entire, the whole entire platoon getting a class from the PMI every single day. Of course, you got to learn things. So he's got to teach you. So he's gathering all up to teach classes. But um, it, mostly like the majority of the day is like, I mean, you're sighting in. You're sitting there for hours. You're sitting there for hours. You're sitting there sighting in. But from the beginning to the middle, sometimes maybe, maybe even towards the end of, you know, the day, he's giving y'all classes and teaching y'all things. He's, like I say, he's a chill dude, he's chilling about it. He's not like yelling at you or anything like that. So, um, that's that, y'all. And, um, George Shortners may come F at you. <laughs> it may come around and F at you, bro. I mean, I feel like the drill instructors are gonna try to be a little more chill because they know they understand that you gotta shoot too. They understand that you gotta, you know, ease up a little bit to learn the fundamentals. But at the same time, they coming around, they checking you, they looking around. You know, I mean, they, they they still it's pressure. Even though they might they may be a little more chill, it's it's gonna be pressure because they drill instructors. That's their job to put pressure on you. You know what I mean? So, anyways, y'all from my experience. I remember, yo, uh, I almost got dropped one time. And yeah, <laughs> I almost got dropped one time because I remember um, I went during the summer and uh, it was it, it was pretty hot, y'all. It was pretty hot. Mind you, I, I, I was a 17-year-old dude back then. I was 17 back then. So, you know, of course, you know, I'm the man I am today, 22 years old, Nowhere near as you know, the more I nowhere near as mentally developed and physically and mostly developed as that 17 year old dude. So, 
I remember it was hot in the mud sucker, man. Boy, I was like, yo, I, shoot, it's hot. Man, I was walking around like, yo, oh my God, I had my cover. I was like, my goodness, everybody just chilling, just looking around, just, they hot too. And we had, <laughs> I had, we had another dude. I was like one or two dudes. He was walking around as well. Cause it was, it was hot, bro. We, we, we were just sitting there. We wasn't moving around. We were just sitting there. It was, and we got, mind you, we got full Laurel Steve bouncers on, chargers on, we got cover on, and we got boots on and boot socks. It, yo, we got on the, all the clothing that you probably should not be wearing in that weather, that hot, hot weather, 100 degree weather, man. And it was hot. We had a couple of dudes walking around because it was just so hot. And I was walking around. I man, I saw them walking around. I mean, I got to get up walking around because I'm about two bucks like a shoe. And man, I'm over here using my cover to fan myself off. But boy, I was like, goodness gracious, it's hot. You know, man, it's hot in the mud. Like, man, it's hot. Whew. Man. And um, the PMI, he ain't catching me. He was too busy teaching the class. But I know if he called me, he would have been mad in the motherfucker, bro, because I was over here with the. <laughs> I can like a motherfucker bitch. So, I mean, I can like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, anyways, y'all, um, another PMI, another PMI caught me. He was like, hey, you. He said, get over here. Get over here. Get over here right now. And I was like, ah, right, sir. I said, he was a sergeant. So, I right, sir. He was like, yeah, I forgot what he said, but he was like, man, why, why are you, he's like, why are you walking around fatty yourself? He was like, he's like, I forgot what happened. He was like, okay, tight, good to go. And then um, he, he went and told my PI, like, not too long after, after the class. And um, I remember I was in the middle of sighting in. We was all, of course, around in a big old circle, sighting into one target. I was just sitting there. I was waiting for my, you know, waiting for it, something to happen. Because the PMI that caught me, he said, oh, yeah, I'm going to get dropped for that. I was like, what are you going to get me dropped, bro? You trying to get me dropped for real, bro? I was like, oh, my goodness, bro. So, you know, time goes on. I'm waiting for him to, my PMI to say something. And then he finally comes say something. And he with my drill instructor. He was like, hey, Johnson, get over here. And like, I'm like, all right, sir. And then my drill instructor come running around. He running around in a circle. He's like, yeah, get over here. Get over here. Get over here. He's over here brushing me. I'm like, I right, sir, I right, sir, I'm like, I'm gonna get my stuff. I right, sir, I right, sir, I'm like, man, come on, bro. You know, and then he like, hurry, 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 hurry. And he running, he running next to me. We, we running towards the PMI. He's like, it's, bro, it's a big circle we running around. We gotta run around the whole big old circle. Uh, Cause the platoon's in the big circle, sighting into one target. And he come all around the circle, come get me. We run back all back around the circle. And then we run around the circle, man. He's like, I'm over here tired. And I was like, ah, oh, sir. He's like, if I remember faster, I was like, ah, oh, sir, ah, oh, sir. I'm like, I'm right over here in my rifle. Ah, oh, sir. You know what I mean? And <laughs> no, I actually, no, I forgot. I had ran. <laughs> I had ran. <laughs> I had fucking my rifle. I had to turn back around. I'm like, oh, snap. Ah, oh, sir. Ah, oh, sir. You know? Oh, man, I was a mess, bro. But I was running to the PMI. He was like, hey, Johnson, yeah, I heard you did. I heard you did. And then he straight put me on trial training. Now, if you don't know what trial training is, tra trial training is li literally the um, trial training is literally the point where if you pass or you fail, if you fail, you get a drop. If you pass, you made it by sheer luck. So they put you on this thing called trial training. If you, if you really are that much of a dirt bag recruit, or if you did something that should, you should have got dropped for, or did they do something that like um, something that bad? Um, they'll put you on trial training. Now they'll, they'll now trial training is the it can be a, a series of questions you got to answer, or it can be a, a bunch of training you got to do. And like I said, John, if you fail trial training, you get dropped. You you get dropped, man. And if you pass, hey, you just made it by sheer luck, man. You made it by sheer luck, you know. So he he straight up put me on trial training, and he he gave me a, a series of questions to answer, uh, and then the, the series of questions was revolving around what we talked about during grass week. And he said, "Look, I'm put you on trial training for what you did. And you want to know what? If you pass, if you fail these questions, you're straight up getting dropped. You understand me?" He was like, "I was like, ah, oh, sir. I was like, golly, man, I'm about to get dropped for answering for failing a series of questions. I'm about to get dropped for all this, bro. Like, bro, that PMO was. I was like, dang, bro. I was mad as a motherfucker. It was like, I was like, yo, that PMO was out to get me, bro. 
he was out to get me. I, I said, I felt my man, my but but honestly, I feel like I kind of understand why he did what he did. But at the same time, I was like, bro, that dude's out to get me. So PM was over here asking me a bunch of questions. I'm trying to take my time and answers correctly. I'm nervous. I'm nervous than a motherfucker, bro, because Lord knows that everybody knows in boot camp. Nobody wants to get dropped. Nobody wants to go back and redo all the bull ass, bro. And BS. Nobody wants to go back and do any of this. So I'm over here nervous, purpose, man. Just hoping I don't fail this. And look, man, but like I said, by sheer luck, man, I passed, man. I passed. And it was crazy because I got to answer all the questions. And he waited a minute. I'm over here nervous, waiting for him to say what he's going to say. He said, all right, you passed, Johnson. I'm like, whew, man. Thank goodness I passed. But then he talked to me about, like, mindset, how a mindset is really important. He said, man, you got to be a predator, man. You can't be a prey. You got to develop a strong mindset. You got to stop being weak and stop having that weak mindset, that prey, you know. And uh, he was just talking to me about that. And um, that's why I continued on back, going to sight into my rifle. I was like, dang. You boy always got dropped, man. Shoot. I came this close to getting dropped, bro. I was like, man, shoot. That was a close one, bro. And then, crazy as it is, <laughs> I didn't even, even make it past table two. I got dropped during table two. And that was like the worst moment ever in boot camp. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. That right there was the worst moment in boot camp. Getting dropped during table two. Shoot, man. But that's the, that's not the point. Um... Grass week, yeah, that's really the gist of grass week, y'all. Um, like I said, just learn the fundamentals of the rifle, sighting in, practicing shooting, not really shooting anything because they don't give you any ammunition to you actually get on the range. But, you know, just sighting in, clicking the rifle, clicking the rifle. You don't even get magazines. You, just, you know, you, well, you got magazines, but you're not using them. You're not using any ammunition, you're not using any magazines. Just sighting in, clicking the rifle. And, um, that really is the gist of grass week. I mean, that's, that's really that's really all it is. It's, it's nothing more to talk about, really. You know, um, but I understand though. Oh yeah, I do got one more thing to really talk about. Is how hot it is, y'all. I understand if you go in there during the summer, boy, just be prepared for grass week. If you if you go to boot camp during the summer, be prepared for grass week, man, because grass week will be one of the hottest. One of your hottest weeks in boot camp, man. I'm telling you, especially going to Paris Island, it's going to be the hottest. Because you got to stand, man, you laying some hot, tall grass and full clothing, long sleeve pads, boots, boot socks. And you laying that grass for hours. They ain't going 100 degree weather. You feel me? You, you sweat like a pig, bro. You, it's hot out there, bro. It's hot. And it's like it's so hot, bro. Like, bro, I remember I I I went to fill my canteens up. You get canteens in boot camp where you drink water from, bro. I fill my canteens up with cool water from the bathroom. I went to the bathroom, fill my canteens up in the sink with cool water. I come back out, bro. I literally put my canteen on the grass for like two to five minutes. Two to five minutes, man. I touch my canteen, it is scorching. I touch my canteen, it is burning hot. Bro, I'm like, dang, bro. I'm like, oh, bro. <laughs> you feel me? So that's how hot it is, man. That's how hot it gets, bro. The canteens will burn up on you, brother. And yo, the water, bro, you can boil some water out there, bro. You probably cook some eggs out there. Cook a dang on, cook some bacon on a skillet out there. You feel me? That's, I guarantee you, you take a skillet, put some bacon on a skillet, you cook some bacon out there. Bro, that's how hot it get. You know what I mean? So, you just laying out there for hours. So, that's one thing to take account, take, um, keep in mind if you're going to boot camp during the summer. And, of course, if you're going to boot camp during the winter, that'll be different. I don't know what's like to go to boot camp in the winter. I, I never went, obviously. But, um, I, I'm pretty sure it probably will be Kind of a similar experience, but, you know, just really cold weather. I don't know if they'll keep you out there. I don't know if they'll keep you inside. I don't know how that works. But anyways, y'all, that's really it for this video. Um, that's just really just talking about grass week and boot camp. You know, just what to expect and what to know. And my experience, of course. So anyways, y'all, 
like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Stay humble, stay motivated, stay positive, stay inspired. Stay healthy out there, y'all. Stay all safe from the foolishness. Stay out of trouble, you feel me? Drink the water, eat your healthy food. You know what it is. You did your boy J three times. I'm checking out. Peace.